Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to the stream. Today we are playing Planet Coaster because it is Friday. It has been almost a whole week. Uh, I guess you would say two because I didn't stream last Friday. So it is super exciting to be back um, in Jujubee Land. This is the park we have been working on in the past few Planet Coaster live streams. Um, it is a challenge park, but um, we have been trying to our best to focus on design aspects and things like that. Um, let me play the game so we can see things happening. Um, we do still have some challenges to do, so uh, we need to make a firework display. Um, I think that's a little bit down the road, and that's something we're going to focus on right now. Um, we need to build a coaster with nine excitement and a ride rating of 900. So obviously, as you can tell by the challenges, it's probably about time for us to look into trying to put in a new coaster, something that is really exciting and that'll help boost our ride rating. Um, I did play, so I didn't play Planet Coaster last week because of Valentine's Day. My work gets really, really busy that whole week, so I just kind of um, stepped away from streaming just so when I was home, I could just be relaxing because it is very stressful, working like 16-hour shifts a day. Um, but when I did have some time, I kind of just played by myself um, and did some work. I don't know if you can see anything that doesn't look the same. I don't know if you remember what it used to look like, but... I don't know if I really remember exactly everything I put into it, but I'm going to point out some things that I know for a fact that I did. So we used to have this Ferris wheel um, right here. I ended up getting rid of that Ferris wheel um, because I wasn't liking the way it looked um, in the skyline. And I put in the Cheroplane, which is actually one of my favorite rides in the game. I don't know what it is about it, but every time I put it into a park, I love the way it makes um, sight lines, and I love the way it makes uh, the overall skyline of the park. So we put that in here. Um, and here's how we change the path a little bit. So we do need to fix that up, add up those some details. Over here on the um, teacups, I added this hedge all the way around the edges to cover up those gates um, to make it look a little bit more finished. And then I also did some hedge work over here by the queue. Um, I added a new entertainment point here. Uh, and instead of having Gol um, Golby, <laughs> uh, Planet Coaster go into this building on his um, queue, um, I mean, on his, uh, what is it called, employee roster. Um, now he is connected to, between these two. So he walks back and forth this way and then over to the, um, uh, what is this called, staff lounge when he has to. So he kind of stays in the park instead of, um, he kept walking out. So now he's kind of over here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, something else that I added, let's see. I feel like I did a lot more work than I probably should have off camera. Um, we moved this bathroom. I don't know if... Um, if we did that in the last year, but I was saying how we should put a bathroom here. I ended up building one here. I did not like how congested it made the area look or the fact that all these people waiting in line for our roller coaster were like squished, um, behind a restroom. But I did change this queue to make it a little bit more symmetrical, a little take up less and more space. And I am going to build some sort of a, um, uh, roofing thing so that these people aren't just standing right in the sun. Um, we are going to build something here, haven't quite figured out what it is yet, but I did build a new restroom, and it is over here. Um, it doesn't have that much detail on the outside right now, um, but I just wanted to kind of get the restrooms down and in place for people to go in and use them, um, because the bathroom ratings are really low. So we added that bathroom in here, it's just kind of tucked back here. Um, this area, we are going to make a eating area with some gate work, so we still need to do that. 
Um, and then we're also going to make this some gardening um, area here. So this area right here still needs a bunch of work. Um, something else that I did is I built um, some what is the, I can't think of, I can't talk today. Um, I wanted to build some station, um, stations for the chairlift, because as you can see now, people are actually using it. It's actually a really popular attraction. Um, so I went ahead and just kind of built like a temporary path coming out this way so people can get on and off. Um, but I did build a station, and it is the same exact one as this one here. It's just du du duplicated. Um, and I just kind of made it go into the building and stop there. Um, but it's very simple, very uh, simple ideas, just some pillars, um, some half walls, and some beams, and then the roofing. Um, but I do love the way this looks on the inside. Um, ooh, where are we are? Here we are. I love the way this looks, especially with the red and white roof. Um, I think it just looks like really, really has that um, feeling that I was going for, that sort of permanent circus kind of vibe. Yeah, I think it has. So yeah. So that's what I did there. I also did some work um, on the um, uh, backstage area here. So as you can see, I put in some fencing along this area here. We are going to do some gardening work along here, some trees. Um, I think you might notice this building. I did not do this on camera. I know I, know I didn't do that. Um, so we did, I think we did do this on camera, um, this little building here. People can check in and go into the maintenance area. But now when you go into the maintenance area, we got a little bit of stuff going on here. Um, so ooh, let me fix these barrels. These are not how these are supposed to be. Um, so I built a um, park maintenance building um, for them to store fixing supplies and trucks that they use for maintenance. Um, so as you can see, I got some park maintenance trucks here. Um, I put the park maintenance sign on the side. Um, and this road kind of just goes over to here where there's some more trash pickup, trash collection. Um, got some tires, a broken car, maybe that was one of the ones up here and maybe something happened to it. Um, and then this is the garage for maintenance um, where they keep the cars. I use these, um, the elevator doors from, what was it, from... The studios pack, I think it was from the studios pack. Um, one of them is set to open, one of them is set to close, just so it kind of looks like there's some garage doors here. Um, on the inside, we got quite a lot of junk in here. Um, so let me try and switch camera views, see if we can get in here and look around. So we have another car in here that is parked. Maybe that one was also damaged. We have signs all over the place, crates and things. This uh, person's doing something with the barrels, I don't know. Um, we got some extra cars parked in here and some things. We got two employees over here talking. Um, and just some more like crates and barrels and things all parked in here as well as another car um, for them to use and um, I, thought that, I thought it was kind of cute that it was kind of fun uh, I was originally going to continue the road um, this way because as you can see I actually did fin can work on this road a little bit we put these planters in just so that when you're in the park here whoa 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 Gamer Haley, welcome to the welcome to the follow family. Thank you for the follow. Um, I put these plants in here ugh, so that when you're in the park, it's not like this huge. Um, I don't know, like it kind of pulls your vision in, so you're not just like looking at huge, vast, flat land back there. Um, so I put those planters in, and that's something similar we're going to do to the um, gardening area here. Um, it's just some really simple gardenery. Gardenry? Is that a word? Some simple planting garden beds, flower beds, and then these trees. And then we have this little road here that goes underneath uh, the coaster and up into a garage area here. Um, originally, like I said, I was going to continue this road sort of around this way, I thought, maybe. But then I realized, oh man, excuse me, with this new coaster or car ride that we put in um, here, the road wouldn't be able to go this way at all um, and we would have to go around the back of this ride and I didn't want to build a long ass maintenance road so um, I had mentioned before that uh, we are gonna build a nice hotel here um, by the parking lot and so we might have a maintenance road that goes back here to some employee parking on this side and then we might have like a bridge um, and maybe some more backstage roads and stuff like that. But as of right now, that's where the, that maintenance area kind of ends. Um, I think that's fine. Um, so what we mostly need to do now, um, the park is pretty stable as in finances. As you can see down below, we have $83,000. So, 
Um, money is not that much of an issue anymore. We do need to focus though on sort of filling in some of these gaps of areas, um, like all these areas in here and behind here, um, like all these small areas where there, it just seems like there hasn't been any work done. Um, and then of course underneath the coaster, I want to try and get some work or a little bit of gardening done. Um, and some trees and things so that it doesn't just look like it's on a plot of grass, um, even though it is, but you know, I want to look like it was a little bit more purposefully put everywhere that it is. And then there are some areas still here in the park, like here and around this building, in front of that building, these little gaps here where we need to fill it in with either flowers or some sort of attraction so that it looks, you know how like over here it just looks more full and filled out and every area has a purpose. There's either gardening beds, a building path, like there's no just plain grass areas. And that's what I want to try and work on today. Um, I did continue a path over here. Um, originally, I wanted to try and build our second coaster. Um, I was trying to think ahead of what it was that I wanted to do with it. And I know the type of coaster I want to build is this dive coaster. Let's give it a sec. There we go. Um, if any of you have ever been to Busch Gardens, there's Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Busch Gardens Tampa in Tampa, Florida. Um, and this coaster is um, one that they have actually in the park. And it's called the Griffin at Williamsburg. And I think it's called the Sharon or something like that. <laughs> Sharon. No, it's like the... I don't remember what it's called in Tampa, but it's the same coaster, um, and it's a floorless dive coaster, and it is personally, for me, one of my favorite types of coasters, and I love these coasters, so I want to build one in the park, um, but one of my favorite things that Busch Gardens does with its coaster is it goes underneath a bridge that the guests can walk on. So I wanted to try and figure out a way to do that. Now, at Busch Gardens, it doesn't go under a bridge that's over water. It goes under a bridge that is purposely made into a bridge so that the coaster can go under it. Um, and people have to cross that bridge to go to the queue. I wanted to do that. Couldn't quite figure out how we would do that because I do want to put the coaster over here in this area simply because um, we can't expand further this way that much. There's going to be the hotel here anyway and the employee parking. So I figured this area right here would be perfect. Um, and it would be right by, you know, this main attraction. So if like you're in a huge group and there's children, they can't ride the ride, they can go in to see the show while like the teenagers go and they ride the coaster. Um, because even in this game, I believe this is an adults and teens only ride. So, um, and I think this ride also is adults and teens only. Is there a way? The queue is full. I don't have enough money. Um, which one did we use for this? What was this even? It's a Giga Coaster. Giga Rage. Yeah, this is also a teens and adults only. We are going to build a children's coaster eventually. Um, I know this one allows children, so that's why this one is very packed all the time. But I do want to build some sort of a children's coaster. Um, can kids ride this one? Yeah, something like this um, that we can make into like a little loop looping coaster. Because um, this one's not going to have loops. The dive coaster will have loops, but they're not going to be like intense loops. It'll be kind of huge um, what is the word, like, um, sprawling turns and, um, like, o like over banks. So it's very smooth and large, um, as opposed to something that's more sharp and upside down and things like that. Um, and I also want to build a hanging coaster. Is this the only one that we have? Um, suspended coaster. I do want to build that. I don't think we're going to build a wooden coaster in this park. I don't think it would fit. The, the theme that we're kind of going about. So I want to try and figure out how we would go about putting in this coaster. Um, let me go ahead. I think fuck, it's so complicated because I'm worried about putting things there. Okay. So what could we do here? I mean, we could obviously put in another building. It would be a weird building because we wouldn't be able to put it super close to this so it would have to start somewhere like here we could do something like that but I don't know what we would do let's look at our guests and see what their needs are um how do we do this guest summary um let me try and remember how to do this guests okay so a more 
majority of our guests are families with a little bit of just adults. There's not that many teens, which is good. Um, so pretty much all of the needs are <laughs> needing to be met. Um, food and drink, bathroom and energy. Um, okay, so let's see. We have a drink place right here. Oh, an amphitheater that way the stage could be near the chair lift and the stands could go up backwards if it would fit. Yeah, we actually have um, this big, um, this large building here is supposed to be a theater. That's the ID behind it. We just have a, um, a ride in there so guests will go in. But yeah, it's supposed to be a theater. If I do build an amphitheater, I think it would be more on a small scale, sort of in like a children's area. Um, so I do want to build a children's area in the park with like a smaller children's coaster. Um, and I, we would have like a small sort of amphitheater area where like, like Elmo would have a show or something like that. Um, so yeah, I do plan on building an amphitheater, just not right here. Um, I know we need to build a shop. Um, I'm just trying to think. Let's see, what kind of food do we have already? So, food. We don't have any food, do we? We have smoothies and slushies, some sweets, so like ice cream, I think. And it's just, okay, go in the building, please. Wah, okay. Donuts and candy, not even ice cream. And then over here we have hip shot, so that is water and juice. And then this pip shot over here, booty balloons. This is smoothies and a slushy. So we don't really have that much food to offer. So I think we will build a food area here. We will do some sort of outdoor seating. So that guests can sit and watch the coaster. Um, I mean, they can't do that in the game, but ideally that's what the thought process would be that that's what people were doing. So let's go ahead and start construction on the building. Oh shit, my washer <laughs> just started draining and it was so loud I didn't know what was happening. Um, so let me grab my wall. I think we have this all here saved in, in, in settings um, in our favorites. So let's grab this one for now. Um, I think what I want to do... Okay, so I want to have a wall... Okay, let's turn off snapping. We're going to have a wall that lines up with the road. Or the road? The uh, pathway. Uh, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, about there. Um, we'll set it back a little bit because of the, the chairlift. So it'll go probably about here. We could push it out just a little bit. Okay. We'll do that. Remove that. Then we're going to turn on snapping at 45 degrees. Um, let me see if 45 degrees is good. Yeah, I think 45 degrees should be good. So then we're going to build this out just a little bit. Let me turn this back. Okay. And then I think, will it fit over here? It will. It is not centered, but we can center it. So how far out did that go? It went out two squares. It can go out three on this side, so do we want to make it uneven? I don't think so. We'll keep it even. So it'll go out two on this side as well. And then head back. And I'm just trying to think, maybe if we do these one more. Something like that. Select this one. Duplicate that. So this is going to go here. And this one is going to go here. That's where that would have to be. So let me just build all of this really quick. Ooh, is that wrong? Yes, it is. Let me just move these so that they're inside the line. It makes it easier for roofing. Um, I'm just going to finish out the whole hollow section of this building. Okay, and then if we click on this one, escape it, and then do that, we can try and adjust this a little bit more. So that it is a little bit more centered, okay? So that is a little bit more centered there. So 
So now what we're going to need to do is these walls are going to have to continue all the way out. And I think that should be fine. I don't think it'll clip through. Nope, that should be good. Um, and then let's see, can we get rid of, get rid of these? Perfect. There we go, we have that fun shaped building there. Um, I think what we're going to do is take off these. We're going to make these the doorways. Let me just go grab that doorway piece. There and there. Let's move this one back on the line. Just like that. Um, yes. Okay. What I think we should do, let me just get out of both of these buildings, select both of them, and then let's try and replace this. I think if we rotate this actually the other way, something like that. I want to make sure this is not going to interfere with that ride. Hmm. Let me see if rotating it towards the entrance. Okay, we could do something like that. Because we can always move that bridge there. I don't think that would work. So let me try... I think that this is probably the best way to do it. Just because we don't want to make that seem like super narrow. Like this one is already a pretty narrow pathway. This one is very open and wide, so I think that's what we want to do with this one. It can't go that wide, unfortunately, because of the the um, chair lift. Um, so I think that's why we'll, we'll want to try and keep that side a little bit more open. Um, here, let me turn this so you guys can see me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but every time I play games, I always like leave way too far <laughs> into the to the screen. Okay, so we'll do that. I think push it back, something like that. Whoa, let's get out of there. Okay. Because we want... Yes, that's good. Because I know I want the center building to go up another level. Can we just... Oh, wait, let me not do it that way. That's just going to make things more difficult. Um, okay, let's just select all of that and duplicate that up. This will help us with placement. We don't want these to come too close to the building to where it could be dangerous for guests. I don't think that one is much closer than that one is. Um, no, oh, Jesus. Than to the other um, building there. So let's do that. And then we can duplicate all of this. Do that. And then this one. Get rid of those. Let's get rid of these middle ones. These out exterior ones. Um, we're going to turn these all into windows. Now, will that be affected? I don't know if the side ones will be able to be windows just because of the way the roofing is going to happen. So, we'll just put those back into full walls. And let's go grab the window pieces. Let's see. So, on the back here, I want the ones that are all the way down like that. Okay, well, that's not right. Here, here, and here, and then I want the ones in the front to be the only the half of the wall windows. If that makes any sense on words. Okay, so we'll do that. Over here, I think we can put some windows in, so let's put a window 
here, and I think we can try and squeeze one in here. Hmm. Let me just put one here for now. Is that correct? Let's see what is that? Yeah. And we're gonna do these ones that have the wood on the bottom. Okay. And then we can get rid of these. Keep the inside open. Yes. Um, let's open up this. And then, actually, let's go ahead and remove this path. Because it's not lined up with the way that um, the other path is. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then we'll readjust it at some point. So that's going to have to go there. That's why I want that definitely. Um, and then this piece, we'll figure that out. So that's what we're going to do for now. And then these buildings, I want to try and center them between the two poles here. So I think that is it. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. And then let's just make sure it is all lined up with the ground. Perfect. So now what we need to do is just flatten out this terrain a little bit. Um, just so that this building is sitting on the terrain. Do something like that. Um, because I do want to have um, some seating back here. Um, Um, yes, let's move this out, make that a little bigger there. Because I want some seating back here that is on a balcony, or not a balcony, what is it called? Like a uh, deck seating. Um, okay, so let's see, let's see. Um, the easiest way to do that. To be really honest, I don't know. Um, actually, it would be selecting this grid. We'll do wood, I think. Now, why can't we do that? Obstructed, it says. Okay, so let's put down what we can. So that one is not obstructed. We continue these in. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you don't see any of the um, the railings. And let's just fix this foundation over here. Still obstructed. I see, I see. Um, let's just get rid of all this around it so we can try and get it to flatten out. There we go. Let's just do that. Okay, so that should work. Okay, let's just do that. That should work. Let's see. Select the grid, this one here. Yep, there we go. So let's just continue this. Um, oh, well, no, that one's not going to place. There we go. Perfect. So now we got our nice little deck seating here. I like it. I like it. Um, so. Um, let me put this one on here. So the shops that we're going to build are, I think, are going to be aligned with the middle one. So let me go in here and edit this. Okay. All right. 
Um, so I think we'll be able to fit them in. Ooh, maybe not. We'll see. So let me let's go grab some building materials. Let's get some of these walls. So I think we're gonna put them in the shops here. I'll put one here and one here. And it looks like it's all fixed up. Um, and then if we go into paths, select the grid, um, we should actually be able to change all of these interior ones into some sort of interior padding. Maybe if we use like these slate looking ones. Do something like that. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. And then, actually, we can probably just no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. This one. Um, we can continue the path out here like normal. Let me just remove railing from ground path. Remove railing. From Why is it still putting it on there? Okay. That is being weird. Well, Lag. Okay, let's get rid of Ugh, man. Let's just completely remove what he's doing. All of that. Why? Let me pause the game because it is lagging a little bit. It's making it kind of hard to build. Um, we have like this piece here. piece is all of that. How do we cut that off? Okay, let me try. Maybe if we do, why is it got railing on it? I don't want railing. Okay. Let's try and put this in. Wow, that'll let me put that in there. That's a really tight fit. Okay. Because of that. Okay, fuck it. Um, let me just make the path here. I'm just gonna remake it because I'm fucking done. Okay, so that's gonna go all the way to here. Um, oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, get rid of all of this. Um, I guess we can try and get this to come down here. Now the only thing I'm not liking is that these are on the queue, or on the path. So let me lower that a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. Actually, let me just go ahead and do it from over here. Yeah, I want these on the side of the path. I don't want those um, interfered with the path at all. So this is all going to come right next to it like that. Yes, that's good. That's good. So now this piece needs to try and connect there. Let me try Z. Hmm, I don't want it, to, yeah, don't want it to interfere. 
that's good, I guess. Yep, that'll have to do. Um, now all this fuckery over here. Um, how can we go about this? So that is not okay. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this to go out straight. Even though that path really isn't straight, that's okay. Why? Stop trying to negate that. Okay, let me try and select grid. Maybe that will help. No, that will not help. Oh, fuck these fucking paths. Okay, let's try that one. No, deselect the grid. Um, we want this to go here. Do that and then that's fine. We can do that. Now, how do we fill this whole section out with path? Maybe if we make the path as big as it can go, all the way to 10. Not even. Um, ooh, that was kind of good. Let's see. How do we get that? Let's do that, because that pretty much gets that lined up. And then this bit here, we'll lower it down a little bit. No, why won't this connect up at all? Hmm. This is being annoying. Okay. Just want all this to be path. Okay. Making progress. Okay. Now we should get these to connect up. to no not quite not quite ah! oh my god okay hi everybody welcome to planet coaster path simulator <laughs> um oh I deleted all of that too let me just back up here a couple steps okay so here's where we were um, I want to try and get this one to go here. Bam. Good. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Step one is done. Um, okay. We need this to connect here. I'll try and do something Ooh, like that. Perfect. Look at that. Now we just need this to connect in here. You know, simple, simple. Okay. Let me. Okay. There's that. And then can we get it just connect like that? Of course not. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. We can do that. Done. Bam. Ah, that, I, that's fine. That's good enough for me. Um. Look at all that path there. Um, all we have to do is move these. If we put these out here, I think that'll fix that up a little bit. And then if we adjust these, <coughs> excuse me, these like that. Something like that. It'll kind of cover up that little area a bit. 
Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. How's the building going? It is good. It's good. We're just working on paths, you know, the usual. Um, so we got all that fixed there. So now this path is going to head this direction. And now we just need to figure out a way to connect the building path up. Um, so let's go back down. Get that from here. And down here. No, I don't want it. I don't want it doing that. Okay, let me let me try selecting this grid. Okay, now we can't even do that. Okay. Um, oh, we can do this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. There we go. Come on. Oh. Almost, almost. Uh, this is fucking insane. Okay, this is like nerve wracking. Or not nerve wracking, just stressful. Okay. Z, no. Z doesn't even wanna. Why? You gotta be a little bitch, huh? Get out of here. Is that what we want? That's what that one did. Let's just do that. And get rid of that middle section so we don't have to worry about people walking in there. Okay, that looks fine. Can we uh, can we do the same thing here? No, there and then I want it to connect to this one. Okay, let's try that. And then, yeah, let me just connect that up there. And then let's put in, okay, like the lift transport. Thank you. Um, it's actually been here for a while. We just never had it open. I finally built the stations, and then I built like a little temporary path over to this one. And I built that station as well. So guests would use it um, because, it, I mean, it was wasn't costing us money because it was closed, but it wasn't really doing anything for us other than like <laughs> wasting space. So I, I figured, fuck it, like I'm just gonna. Ooh, can we connect this at all? Oh, I saw. So let's see. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I am fine. I'm cool. I'm not stressed out at all. Um, let me try. Can that connect up? No. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck it. We're just gonna connect these like that. Just... Nope. Something like. Ooh, what'd that do? Perfect. I don't care what it did, but it did whatever I needed it to do. Perfect. So let's do that. Let's see if we can get these corners to sell something. Yes. Perfect. There's one. I don't know what the heck that was. Okay, no. No. annoying. I need it to curve out like that. Oh my god. These fucking pads, man. Okay. Let 
Why? No, it's not curving it. Ugh. So I want it to curve here. Okay, let's just do that, and that, and then, oh my god, okay. We're just going to keep them straight like that because I am done. I'm done with the paths, okay? All right. So there we got that going on. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so we're going to put some shops in here. What shops are we going to put? Can we fix these paths? Can we? Okay. that oh. okay that's fine that's cool that's cool can we connect these at all Let me try selecting nothing because I can't select anything. Um, that's going to cause so much congestion. I know it is. But there's really nothing else we can fucking do. So maybe we can. I want to try and put a path across here, but it's like. All right, I'm done. Okay, let's select this building and let's put the shops that we're going to be using. Um, this is not correct. Let me move that one in. There we go. So the shops they need food. Um, there's tons of food options now with the new um, World's Fair that I have. Um, so I'm excited to use some of these new things. Um, so we already have, I think it's just hot dog squad. I think that's the only food option we have to offer. Mm, yeah, it's just hot dogs. That's all we have here. That's all you can buy. That's it. Hot dogs and smoothies. Um, so let's see. We can put in burritos. Ugh, chief beef, chow mein chow. Uh, is this churros? Churros. Ice cream. I'm thinking this restaurant, it's kind of big, so I think it would be more like an actual food food. Have you used, have you tried using billboards with well-known shop logos on them? Does it give a realistic look? Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that. I really love, um, the, um, like the store advertising and logos in the game, the actual game ones. Um, so I think I'm probably just going to stick with those. What is this? Baguettes. Is this like sandwiches? Um, we have ribs. What is this? 
Sausages. We could do that. Ribs and sausages. I mean, I'm a vegetarian, so this place would not be so okay for me. But, wow. But, um, definitely think that would be, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got World's Fair and Vintage last week. Dope. Those are some really good packs together. Why do you hate me, game? Why does this fucking game hate me so much? Okay, 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 okay. Let me try and do something sneaky. Okay, that's not that sneaky. Okay, we'll connect that there. Let me try and connect these up. Okay, we can get rid of that. We need that actually. Okay. Okay. I think that <laughs> is probably about as good as we're gonna get. And that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't even want to fucking be bothered with the paths anymore. Sausages and ribs. Yeah, I think that sounds good. A little barbecue place. Um, we need a name for it. What's the name for a good barbecue? Like, um, like it's going to have the store names. So, how do I explain this? Um, what did we just put in? Just Ribbon and Professor Wursts. So, it'll have the advertisement for those two shops in it. But I want to name um, the actual building. Like, something like... Uh, Maybe we can name it something that has to do with the coaster or something like that. Um, yeah, like these these stores are named after because it's only the one store in there. Um, but like this one doesn't have like a building name. Whereas like, you know how like a restaurant in a, um, a park will have a name. So the only major park that I've been to that I draw a lot of inspiration from is Bush Gardens. And, um, um, there is a rib place there that sells like ribs and um, brisket and like mac and cheese and french fries and all that kind of stuff. And it's um, Trapper's Keep, um, I think is what it's called, or Trapper's House, um, because it's supposed to be in what is New France or like Canada. Um, so it's called Trapper's House. I mean, maybe we can name it that just for fun. Um, so this is like Trapper's House and it has ribs and sausage in it. You can try that. But I don't know if you guys have any ideas for like a, a ribs restaurant. Um, hello, all. Nice pose you got going. Thank you. Um, how do you say that? Glacian? Glish, is that Glacian? Cool idea. If the coaster is themed, then go with that. Well, the coasters aren't going to be like theme themed. Like it's not like, oh, whatever. But it'll be sort of like, like the, um, the station will be kind of themed. Um, I think this right over here is going to be the most themed that we're going to be getting. Um, but like this one is kind of a basic roller coaster. It doesn't really have too much of a theme. Uh, I don't even think we named it. Did we name it? Yeah, no, it's just coaster. But I think this is supposed to be like King Coaster's area. So this might be King Coaster's coaster. Um, Something like that. So maybe we can name. Oh, let me get this out of here. Um, because we are going to have this ride, and this is. Um, oh, what is that entertainer's name? She was over here. I don't know where she went. Here she is. Um, Renee Fu. That's her area. So, like, maybe if we have some food there, it'll be like Renee Fu's. Galcian. 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 One more featured creator. Just you're watching in the streams. His latest coaster is awesome. That's awesome. Do you have stuff like on the Steam Workshop? I feel like kind of an asshole for not knowing who you are. <laughs> but, um, sorry about that. Um, but maybe we can place, uh, uh this front page ATM at the moment. Blue him. Oh, hey. Um, maybe if we lay down like one of these entertainers. Ooh, high workload. Um, let's see who could be over here. Cause all these people kind of have their own thing going. Hmm. 
not quite sure. Not quite sure. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I think we can go ahead and open it just because guests are fucking starving. Um, ooh, cool, a victim. I mean, a victim. A fucking criminal was caught resolving some crimes. Look at that. Ribs and sausage. Wasn't just that. Isn't sausage, um, like, like the way they're doing it here, isn't that just basically a hot dog? Is it different? Like, is eating a hot dog and eating, like, um, what do they call it? Bratwurst? Is that, like, different? Ooh. Ancient Japan steampunk pirate underwater theme. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like this theme. Every time people come in and ask what the theme is, I'm like, it's like an oriental alpine slash <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever <laughs> theme. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just using the things that I like in the Steam Workshop. <laughs> um, so let's see. Are people even going in there eating? They are. How cool. So let's put some seeding out here for people. That is going to be in scenery. A German sausage. Mm. German sausage. That was really weird. Um, let's see. Let's put some seating out here. Just so people can eat their sausage. What seating did we use in these other places? Did we just use the round ones? Oh, we used the flat picnic tables there and the round and flat ones over there. So we can use whatever we want over here. We can mix it up as well. So let's use... Where are they? They're there. Let's make them that brown color we're using. So I'll put some brown ones over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Glaci Glacian has joined our follow family. Thank you for the follow. It's all around. Glacian goes through. Huh. Okay, so let's put some round tables here. Maybe we can put one here and here. Nope, I want it symmetrical. Okay, well, so I'll have those on the side and then we can do the square ones. So we can put one here and here. Is it worth me buying magnificent rides? Um, if you have the money to buy, it, I would say I don't think it's really worth like saving money to purchase. Um, it just kind of really depends on how you play the game. Um, I think the game has like more than enough rides and coasters in it already to where it should be fine, but um. There are certain rides that came with it that if you felt like you needed them in your park so that your park could be authentic or how you want it to be, then yeah. Um, let me just go into the rides to show you what I'm talking about. Um, uh, so here, um, like this ride, if you're trying, like if you need this ride in your park because you feel like it'll help make your um, park feel like a if you're trying to do some sort of, what is it, like that weird carnival vibe, then yeah. The only thing I enjoy the most from this ride are the drop towers. Um, is this the big one? No, this is the little one. Just because it has such a small footprint and I love drop towers. Um, and then, yeah, there are some flat rides and things. Um, let me see. Can we filter this by... Magnificent. So yeah, so we got like these, the, ch the chair lift, things like that. Like if you feel like you need those things in your park to help it make it authentic or it's something that you're trying to do, then yeah, I would say to get Magnificent Rides. But if you haven't yet really even placed down most of the rides that are already in the game, then you might be okay without it until it's either more on sale or you have X some extra cash to purchase it. But like I said, I don't feel like it's something that's worth like having to save your money to get. But it's definitely something to think about getting at some point in the future. Guess think Jumanji is too expensive. Um, uh, yeah, probably. Maybe, yeah, definitely. Ew. 
Oh, no, it's too expensive. Um, let me put it this in my calculator to see what we should be charging for it. About 10 bucks saying how much are we charging? Okay, so let me put that down to ten dollars and see if that's okay for people. Um, it's probably not worth the ride right now because is there a reason nobody's getting off this ride? Hmm. Give me a second. Um, don't block the station. Yeah, look at this. These people are all backed up. Let's get all these people off or else they're going to be like, Bleh! <laughs> It's the one on the right. Nice name. <laughs> Alright, is this going to fix it all out? Because it was pretty evenly spaced to where there was always a cart coming in and always a cart leaving. I think we've got that now. Okay, sorry, that's all back to normal. Um, we got to make sure people are going in and on. Wow, look at all these people! Whoa, 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 what do you guys not want? Oh, the queue is kind of long. Yeah, I can see why. Um, how long is the queue time for this? This coaster's got two carts going. Does it tell me? It tell me a one-minute queue time. Like, shit, I'd wait that. Anyway, I'm back over here. <laughs> um, are people not wanting this? Oh, there's nobody here. It's not really that advertised, so we're going to have to work on that. Um... Me, let's finish this. I want to try and finish out this roof um, before this, or finish out this whole building before the stream is over. Um, let me go over here. Let's build the roofs on here. We are going to use, uh, let's use this size. Yeah, this should be good. Let's use that. And then, I don't, we won't need it on the inside. We can use, would it be these ones? Yep, there we go. We'll do that. Oh, cool. Three crimes were resolved. Excellent. My security is doing an excellent job. Is this the right size? I think so. So let's just select this and duplicate it across. There we go. Oh, we are going to need to do this one. Perfect. And then we should be able to duplicate, I mean, like all of this. And then just duplicate it over to the other side. Can we not? Yeah, I yeah, just need that piece. Let's duplicate this, rotate it over, and pop it on in there. Not exactly, but that's fine. I'm just going to move this over. There we go. So that'll do that. Yeah. This looks really much cooler from the back than it does from the front. <laughs> oh, cool. You did take it over the water. Oh, yeah. That ride over here. Yeah, it went all the way around. Um, we haven't really worked on it much because I know it's going to take a lot of small detail work. Um, so most of it I was going to do off camera. Um, because I'm going to build some bridges over here, and then there are, I did a little bit of decorating for some ideas that I had, but it's mostly going to be like a safari theme, so it's going to be like a weird adventure, pat, um, adventure slash, um, uh, what was the other one? Like a jungle kind of thing, um, but that's later later because it's going to take some time to build. I definitely want to get in a second coaster before I really start on that. The one that tips and rotates. Oh yeah, the one where you can make your, the guests look in whatever direction you want them to. Dope. Dope. Okay. Let me get a roof in here. Do we want to do the shallow one? I don't think this one has a middle piece, if I'm correct. 
that make any sense? I don't know. Go back up. Grid height. Yeah, that's not correct. Okay. Let me just undo that. I think we're going to have to do one step up in the gradient here. That is pretty steep. That's okay. So we'll do this one. I think this is the middle bit. Yep. And then we just need this one here. Ah! Okay. And then let me get this up like this. Actually, I'm going to have to wait to put that piece in to make sure that it's lined up properly. Can we... Oh. Let's put that and that. If you want a nice big project, I mean, how I put hours into that one. Many hours, man, but the final outcome is worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always, like, every time I'm like, I have an amazing idea for, like, a large idea or whatever. Like, I always get really into it, like, at the beginning, and then, like, I will instantly lose interest. Um, I think this part might be one of the furthest ones I've gotten before. Because um, usually, like, especially that parking lot, usually I'll start a huge project like that. And then, like, I'll be like, I don't want to have to do it. So, like, I just procrastinate going back into the park and working on it. Um, but surprisingly, this park has been very inspirational. Like, every time I load the park, I'm like, I need to do this. I need to do this. There's, like, so like a list of things that I need. I know I want to do. I should think I have a list right over here. Let me see if I still have it. Oh, no, I don't. These are all my papers from my other game that I play, but yeah, like this park has been very inspirational. I don't know what it is about the um, those new wall pieces that we got, but I'm really loving them. Because they allow you to build like very detailed buildings, but really quickly. I tend to stay casual for a bit, get a crazy idea, get into an obsessive mode for a month, get bored, and so that's a bit, yeah. And you're, you're more organized than me. I still love the car park. Thank you. Uh, the car park is personally one of my favorite car parks I've built. Um, cool, we got a crime resolved. Nice. Criminals get out of my park. Um, you know, I like. I have to write things down or else I forget. Um, I have to. I have to. Where is this roof? Is this it? What is happening? That's the one we were using. That's not it. Is it this one? Yes, this is it. But I need to fix the grid height. Can we go to one, please? There we go. And that doesn't make any sense, does it? There we go. And then over here. See, like, I don't mind this being this close to this uh, chairlift. But you know damn well in real like in real life, if um, a ride like this came this close to a building, there'd be so many problems with people like getting out of their seatbelt and like leaning all the way over so they can be like, I touched the building, I touched the building, and like, like I know damn well that would be a huge fucking problem like in the real world. But luckily, luckily, <laughs> our little NPCs in Planet Coaster are angels except for the criminals so actually all of our fucking all of the planko people are like basically just like little teenagers they're like i'm hungry i'm thirsty i need to go to the bathroom i don't have any money like <laughs> all these fucking complain I learned to sketch out rides from watching you. Oh. Have you ever thought about putting the car park on the workshop? Well, actually, um, I got all these pieces from the tool maker, theme maker's toolkit. I was thinking about adding the whole thing as the ride, 
Um, with, well, it's not completely finished, obviously. We have to, we're going to continue this out into some sort of a tunnel. But I'm planning on building three areas for guests to stay and sleep. Um, so like I'm gonna build some sort of a campsite over here for people who need like a low in or not a low income but like a low budget place to sleep for the night um, because I know most large theme parks kind of have like a campsite area that they aren't partnered with so I want to build like a little campsite over here for people to camp like in tents and RVs and then over here we're gonna build a cliche motel um, like with uh, balcony seating, uh, balcony walkways and stuff like that. Really kind of a middle point between like the campsite. Um, so like a middle income, kind of middle budget place to stay. And then over here um, near the water, we're going to build like a nice grand hotel that is the park's hotel. Like the park has built it. You have, like it's expensive. Like <laughs> it's going to be a really nice hotel. Um, that's like all indoors, has like an indoor pool and stuff like that. Um, I'm not super into realism, but you could get along extremely well with the people on Bro Nation. Yeah, like Masked Bandit. Yeah, I watch them on YouTube. Um, I don't watch Bro Nation as much. I watch just pretty much Masked Bandit, um, for, for Planet Coaster. And then I also watch Geekism for Planet Coaster. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I freaking love it. They are on a level that is like just above where I am <laughs> because I enjoy building the game or building in the game with the way that the game developers intended for us to build in it if that makes any sense I mean like I try my best to like use the regular wall height and the windows that they give us and like the roofing and stuff like that I don't ever ever build like custom roofing or custom walls or like try and make things an accurate size um, for the most part uh, because it takes a lot, and, um, I know me personally, I don't have that level of commitment, I guess it would be. Um, I'm in all the discords, so I follow all the channels. In all on channel 5. Nice. And yeah, you mean you're not using door stops and ceiling fans. I watch Geekism a lot. Yeah, I love Geekism. I love him a lot. Um, but yeah, no, I don't do, I don't get that into it. Um, I try and like, this is probably about as detailed as I'll get is like the seating areas here. But even then it's still the four by four grid um, size, like scaling and stuff like that. Um, I do, I love, I love the game and the way it was intended to be played. Uh, well, I don't want to say intended to be played because they definitely want us to try and create you know just about anything that we can but with the way that the developers designed the game I guess I don't know how to explain it without making it sound like they're doing something wrong everyone in the community brings something to the table it's it is a word this is worthy of the table oh thank you <laughs> I agree oh you guys are sweet it's like the 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 round table you gotta be worthy to be in the round table um speaking of worthy do you guys watch Marvel like the, are you guys like caught up in the MCU? Because I actually just thought of something I read the other day about Thor, and I wanted to talk about it. But if you guys aren't caught up, I don't know if it will be interesting um, enough. Um, tell you I'm not the kind to just say that either. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. Cool. Criminal getting kicked out of my fucking park. Fucking criminals robbing my guests. Very true. So do you guys watch Marvel? I need to know. I need to know because I want to talk about it. Let's do this. I think this level is good. Okay, so let's do that. And then this one needs to rotate. Yep, I'm a DC guy, but I watch Marvel too. Well, I am, in the simplest of terms, fucking obsessed with Marvel. It is my everything. I don't know if you guys can see my beautiful 
Black Panther poster. Um, <laughs> but I am, I'm obsessed with Marvel. It's my everything. Oh, and I'm obsessed with it. And um, I read something really interesting about the worthy bullshit um, about like Thor's hammer and stuff. Very interesting, very interesting. So you know how like in Thor 1, um, after he's kicked to Earth um, by Odin, and Odin says um, that, you know, he kicks him down to Earth, he says, you're not worthy of the hammer, he puts the little little jinx on it, and it's like, ah, um, you know, you, until you're worthy, you can't hold the hammer. And so then it's like a whole thing about how Thor's hammer, you gotta be worthy, right? Everybody knows this. Well, people were like freaking out about the fact that Groot picked up um, the new axe. I forget what it's called. Um, Strongbow or something like that. Um, everybody was like freaking out. Oh my god, he picked up the axe. So that means he's worthy. But that doesn't fucking matter. Because <laughs> like, people were like, the axe doesn't have the, I guess it would be a curse um, on it the same way that the hammer does because Odin specifically put that curse on there when he threw Earth, oh, him down. That's why the little symbol popped up, remember, when he said that? Somebody was freaking out about that. Um, so that's why I think it mattered when, like, Vision picked up the, the, the hammer. We're like, okay. And, like, the whole reason that Spider-Man can't pick it up is because he doesn't kill, so he's not considered worthy. But it's not, like, worthy. I know it's can and that cap can yield it, though. Yeah, but the thing was, it was, like, it doesn't mean you're, like, worthy of the MCU. Like, in the MCU, you're worthy. You can pick it up. It's just worthy in the eyes of Odin. <laughs> and who the fuck is Odin? Like, who the fuck cares about him? Like, so, like, the fact that, like, Vision can pick it up and that whoever and whatever couldn't pick it up, like, really doesn't mean anything. It just means that in the eyes of, like, um, of, uh, what is it? What are they called? The fucking people... Oh, fuck, I forgot the race that um, Thor is. Fuck, I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Not the Valkyrie. What is he? Asgardians. That's what it is. The Asgardians. Yeah. So that just means that like those people are or are not worthy in the eyes of the Asgardians, which really doesn't mean shit because it's like none of them fucking left. Um, and then people were like freaking out. I don't know if you heard, like people were uh, making conspiracies about how Spider-Man actually is worthy. Because um, Thor's hammer was also made in the same place, so that means that all you also have to be worthy to pick up the not the hammer, the the gauntlet, Thanos's gauntlet, and they're like because it was made in the same place, you have to be worthy to pick it up, and um, that means Thanos is worthy, and that also means that Spider-Man is technically worthy because he was holding the the gauntlet technically because it was when it was technically off of Thanos's hands before Star Lord went and fucked everything up, but no. No, like that's not no, because Odin didn't put the curse on the gauntlet. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I was thinking about it earlier on. It's just like, Mah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it's the hammer. Like, you have to pick up the hammer to be worthy in the eyes of Odin. But the hammer's fucking gone. Because Helen fucking curses that shit like a fucking piece of candy. Um, another very interesting conspiracy I, I found that I'm obsessed with is the conspiracy of an alternate universe. Um, after um, Thanos snaps his fingers, um people are saying that they think that what might happen is a complete alternate reality was created. Is Avengers Endgame out before Spider-Man Far From Home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avengers comes out um, in April. Um, and Far From Home comes out, I believe, in June? July? Sometime this summer. Um, but um, people are saying that when Thanos snapped his fingers that moment um, one, that he was actually, his soul has been 
his soul, I guess it would be his being, has been trapped inside the soul stone. That's why he goes into that little limbo of a world and he's talking to Gamora, which, um, who was also trapped in the soul stone because she was um, sacrificed for it. So that's why he saw her there, and that is essentially what happened, was he was trapped into the soul stone. Um, I don't know how that'll play out at all into any of the theories or into Endgame or why that would matter. Um, and also the fact that an alternate universe was created when he snapped, and after he comes out of this little trance, um, uh, and there's like that moment in time before people start fading, and they're like, what happened? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Um, and then he leaves. Um, that two, the universe was split into two identical place universes, and then everybody who died in the universe that we saw lived in the alternate universe, and then everybody that we saw live in our universe faded away in the alternate universe, so that it's, after those people faded, it essentially split, like ripped it in half, so half the people went to one, half the people went to the other, which is an interesting fact. And I guess that's what would matter. I think that's why it would matter that Thanos' soul has been trapped in the soul stone. That way he was able to ex exist in both universes. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. Um, I think they might do an alternate universe, but not for what happened so far. But for what's coming, the X Men. Yeah, Captain Marvel comes out! in March and I already bought my tickets and I bought them when they first came out. I'm going to go see it on Thursday the 7th before it actually is released. So I'm super excited and I'm freaking out and I'm impatient. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to see Captain Marvel. I can see them saying him snapping his fingers cause whatever. The X-Men universe appear though. In a way that happens from one singular reason. Way too complex for big Hollywood blockbusters. Reason. <laughs> um, yeah, but, I don't know, it's like, people have all these conspiracies about what's happening, what's going on, but like, isn't all this stuff written down in lore, like, through the comic books? Like, isn't this stuff, like, already figured out? Like, they don't have to write it out and figure it out. I mean, things like, oh, hey, let's figure out what they're going to say. But like, are, isn't like the overarching story, like, written? <laughs> No, the comics have thousands of information. Okay. I have always thought that, like, like, people just knew. Like, oh, hey, well, I know what happens in Infinity War because I read the fucking comic. Like, I always thought that's how it was, but I guess not. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah. But uh, one of the evidence that there was for the alternate universe was um, in the um, Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Um we see who we presume to be Nick Fury um, and um, either um, what's her face? Not Agent Ross. Um, shit, I can't remember her name. Um, the chick that was in Friends. She works with um, Nick Fury. Um, she faded away in the post credit scenes with him. We're, you, you, we can't really tell who they are in the trailer, but um, people, because it's just the back of their heads, so people are assuming that's who those two people are, um, and as well as Spider-Man, and those three people faded away in the universe that we witnessed, um, and Iron Man isn't anywhere to be seen in the trailer, and he didn't fade away in our universe, so people are believing that that movie takes place in, in an alternate universe, the one that we didn't witness, um, and also a thing that kind of, <laughs> um, supported that was the fact that Tom Holland, the idiot that he is, may or may not have spilled some important information during an interview um, when they were discussing um, Far From Home. Um, and he basically said, yeah, yeah, no, it definitely, yeah, no, it takes place after um, Endgame. And they were just like, after Endgame or before? Like, and he was pretty much just like, I shouldn't have said anything. Like, you know, fucking Tom Holland, idiot that he is. So... It may take place after Endgame, which, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm like stressed out now, I'm fucking stressed out. Um, that would matter though, that would be a very, very important thing. Okay, so now we got doors on this place, we need, whoa, lag, we need some signs. Okay, let me make sure this game is saving, okay.
save. Um, I think what we're going to do is make some sign here. Let's go into scenery. There is more series alone. Maria Hill. Maria Hill, yeah. Just means that the plots may advance in timeline further than the plots that ended. Let's go back in time towards the end. Yeah, um, I know that I, I watched an interview with some of the writers that were saying um, they were discussing adding time travel into the universe or into the situation, but they thought that um, uh, that it would either be, one, make things too complicated, or two, have the fans think that it was just a cheap way out to solve problems that were accidentally written in. Because um, I know that that was what was brought up in um, uh, in Star Wars, because Star Wars said they were going to implement some sort of time travel um, in the new movie that's coming out, and people were basically saying, oh, that's just because you guys are bad writers and you need a cheap way out of, like, you know. Um, so I think that that might be a reason they were avoiding using time travel. Dude, I kind of want to put this giant fucking sausage on my building. Because there's ribs over here, too. Look at these ribs. Maybe we can put them inside. Ooh. Hey, don't be too harsh on our, on us Thanks. English. Oh, <laughs> Tom Holland, yeah. Tom Holland's a fucking nut. He ruins everything. But he's also great, so it's hard. Let me figure out how the fuck we're going to do this sausage here. Um, we need it to come. This way. Something broke down our grand carousel. Oh, no. I'm sure one of our repairmen will fix it. Okay. Let's see that. Sausage. Okay. And then, okay, so let's do... Wait a minute. This one's over here. And then, um... Oh, how cute is that? Okay, now we need to go into buildings and we need to get some wall signs. So let's do ribbon. Ooh, I like all these signs. We got this one. Ooh, that's a big one. Maybe we'll put it up here. That's a nice one to get. Just ribbon, barbecue ribs, just ribbon, just ribbon, neon sign one. Um, let's do this. Sink it in the wall a little bit. So that's a nice generic thing. Um, we might need this one. Do we have a smaller one? Put that one there, and then we need um, Spratwurst. These are all way too big. I do like the idea of having Professor Worst there. Um, these are huge. Let's do this. Professor Wars Barbecue Whips. Alright, let me actually lower that down a little bit. Because that kind of matches that. There we go. And we can get this too and move all that up. We go, nice little sign there. Maybe we can sink this in a little bit more because it's kind of thick. Uh, okay. There. 
ribbons. Just ribbon. All right. Okay. I fucked something up. I don't know what I did. Just ribbon it. Like it. Just ribbon. Thank you. There we go. Professor Worst Barbecue Ribs. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um. Are these too harsh? These are like. <sighs> the thing I hate about like these, some of these signs, they're just like huge and obnoxious. Let's do that one. Let's get the ribbon one. What's this one? It's kind of big. That's fine. Drop it there and in. There we go. Little signage on the back there. Okay. So let's have these. Let me select these, please. There we go. Set advertisement. We'll do both of them. That way, if anybody walks, because we are going to put a bridge over here. Um, so if anybody walks on that bridge, they'll see that. And then these signs here. Advertise both. This one up here is a little bigger, so let's have this advertise both. And then this one, is this part of the building? Yep, we'll have this one advertise the worst. Oops, we don't need it to advertise the skies. And then this one here, we'll advertise the ribbon it. And I think, hopefully, yeah, no. We don't need it to do skies. There we go. How did you get the roads on car park? Uh, so they are um, assets I downloaded from the Theme Makers Toolkit. Uh, it's all a grid-based um, building block item. Um, if I go into here, the toolkit items, you'll see here it is. Um, it's like a little piece, and then when you place it down, it'll open a grid, and then you can place down the rows. Um, there's also crosswalks, um, there's the parking slots, um, and there's tons of little um, bits that you can add. There's like corner pieces and stuff. Um, and I can't remember who I got them from. Um, parking lot A, parking A. Um, and there's also some of these uh, bus stop pieces and stuff. When I went to the Theme Makers Toolkit, I looked up parking. That's what I typed into the search bar, and that's what I found. Um, and it was also the most, uh, was it upvoted or most subscribed to, whatever, item. Um, so it's pretty cool. It is a little laggy when I click on it because it's a whole building. The whole thing is like one large building. It does lag, though, when I click to edit it, so... That's a note to take. Um, <laughs> uh, I also got the ducks from the Theme Makers Toolkit, which I'm loving. Look at the little ducks. Um, we still have to put some plants in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this building is almost done. We will need to do some gardening around the back. Um, just not, I mean, around the building. I'm not going to do that just now. What we need to do um, last before this building is done is add some nighttime lighting. Um, oh, did we not light up? We didn't light up any of these new buildings, did we? That sucks. Um, let me go in here. Lights. I want to get those area lights. These ones. Let's sink it down a little bit. Oop, nope, don't align the surface. Let's not do that. That looks like shit. Um, let's just put them in like the gardening bed areas. Those will get covered with um, plants eventually. But for now, I'm just going to put these here. So this place is well lit at night. And then we just need to get some of these to light up the actual building. Try and use it here. Okay. There's 
question one. Here. Put some over here. We can hide these under the There we go, some lights. Not too bad. Back to the daytime. Alright. I've never been into the theme maker store, but yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out. Uh, when you add too many items to your game, it will lag it out and take forever to load into your parks. Um, so add at your own risk. Um, I would not recommend adding things that you had to search through multiple pages just because um, if they weren't made properly or if they're made in a weird way, it'll lag out your game. So you don't want to add too many items um, and only things that are like well rated, well commented, and stuff like that. Um, it won't like break the game, it just kind of makes it laggy. Like already my game is pretty laggy. Um, like if I try and turn and get the with the car park in it, it'll lag it out sometimes. Um, and like going in and out of buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, a theft has occurred. Okay. Um, now, we have not too long left. So this building is up and functional. Let's try and get... Oh, my staff has quit. Ooh, we're making money. So I want to try and get this bridge in. And then I think what we're going to do for the last bit of the stream is um, kind of try and focus on our staff just because they are losing it. What is happening? That was weird. Okay. I think I want the path to come over here. Okay. So if we do something like that, we can I guess make it a little bit bigger there. Um, actually, let me select this grid again. Is that the right size? I don't think I made that the right size. Um, so let me do one here and like one here. And then what we can do is go up to the six that we want it. There we go. Is that six? That is way bigger than six. Um, There we go. That's straight. Yep. Okay. We need it to be fairly straight for when we build underneath of it. Why is that not okay? Oh. Okay. I see the problem. Um, we have to start building like over here. Let me just deselect 90 degrees. And select that. And then select back 90. Is there a reason you're not okay? I'll select this as a grid then. Why? Ugh. There we go. This will make sure it's straight even better. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me try and oh, is it easy to go into the theme makers toolkit? Yeah. Give me one second. Um. If I'm correct, you should be able to go into it just like you can the Steam Workshop. Um, let me just try and get this um, this path situated really quick. Okay. Let's turn off 90 degrees. Um, I think for right now, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Let's 
just do that for now. Okay. And this one needs to go there. Oop. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Well, that is weird. Why is that being like that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on. You just trying to do one path and just do a whole fucking project? Okay. So we'll do that. This will. I think we'll have it just go like that. There you go. There's big pathing. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it's easy to go into. So if you go into the Theme Makers Toolkit um, items here, you can just click go to Steam Workshop. Okay. So then when you get into there, you can go down. <sighs> Lag. Um, down here. I don't know if you guys can see. No, you guys can't see it all because it's opening a browser <laughs> like a fucking idiot. So yeah, if you go into the theme makers toolkit um, and you go down to like the options where you can filter it, it should be all the way down at the bottom. There should be a, a filter for theme makers toolkit items um, and it'll only show you those items. Um, I don't know why I, I was thinking when I was like, oh, let me show you, let me show you my screen. Um, yeah, so I think that building is pretty much done. Um... I'll need to do some uh, landscape work there. Um, now, another thing I want to go ahead and get started. Do not think we're going to finish it at all. Well, I know we're not because there's about 10 minutes left in the stream. But just to kind of leave you in anticipation for the next stream, we are going to place down a coaster where we want it. And then um, we're not going to build it, I don't think. Um, I don't think we have time because I really want to kind of focus on it. We need it to have nine excitement. <laughs> That's gonna help me build my car park. No problem. Bip. Um, so I think we're gonna have it over here in this area. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, trying to think because I want there to be a bridge. Bip. Bip. <laughs> That's not how you spell it. It's B I B. Bip. Um, because I want there to be a path leading to the station that the coaster goes under. Um, so I think what we would need to do. I'm trying to think about the path. So maybe we can have this. This station needs to be the other way. Maybe we have something like the station here. Then, um, so maybe we can have a bridge leading this way. So it'll lead straight across like this is um, and head to the coaster station. What was that pile of hair in your Snapchat? Oh, I cut my hair. Yes, I did. Um, this isn't my hair. This is fake. But um, I can show you. I cut about, like, uh, I don't even know how much. Uh, I think it was, like, two inches off. I thought I had a picture. Yeah. Here, I filmed a video for my mom because she was wondering what it, how short it looked. But this is my natural hair. Yeah. 
Um, I had, I, so I used to have really long natural curly hair, um, but I dyed it just about every fucking color under the sun that I could. Um, let me find a picture of what my hair used to look like. I doubt you fucking care, but my hair used to be about this long. Um, so not too far off from this, um, but it was naturally curly. And then I dyed it um, green, blue, purple. I don't even know. I had it like every color. So I had it blonde like for a long time, which I was like obsessed with. And then um, my favorite color, which I had it for a long time. This was always my color. Um, it was like a turquoise green. Um, this was my favorite color to do my hair. I thought it looked really nice in my skin tone. So I had my hair that for like an entire summer. And then I dyed it like this, this weird blue. And I dyed it like, um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I had it like this, uh, this these colors. Like I dyed it everything, everything. And so then I had to chop it all off um, because it was damaged. And I've been trying to grow it back. So that's why I still wear these like wigs and hair extensions and stuff because I don't want to damage my, my natural hair by trying to style it and um, brush it and all that crazy stuff. Um, so like for things like this and for going out, I usually wear like a wig so I can just braid down my hair and put some product in it. So it'll kind of help it grow back natural. But I had still a lot of dead hair on my head. Um, when I did trim it, so when I got it trimmed, I got trimmed my sh right up to my, my, my ears. And so it had grown out for about a year. Um, but I still had a lot of dead hair on the top layer, like growing down. So I had to cut like another two layer. I cut about two inches off of the top. And it rounded it out and it looks kind of nice. Hopefully one day I'll be able to wear my natural hair again. But as of right now, I can't. Um, okay. Let's see. So I want to bridge, like I was saying, I want to bridge so then the coaster can come down. You said on the Snapchat, was like, you went bald or something. I have always wanted to shave my head. Um, or at least cut it like extremely short. I had like a little fro. But I was always worried that I would look like a fucking plebly. Um... Because I don't think my head shape would look nice. So we're going to have a bridge there. I think if we do like a bridge here. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm putting my mouth, my mouse. And then we have the drop go underneath that bridge and loop up here. That'll be fucking dope. So. Let's have. Let's switch this to this direction. So it goes out this way. I think this might be a good spot to put it. Hmm, I do want this cue on the ground. We might lift it up just a little bit. So let the Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we'll have to do. I think that's a good link. Okay, so let's put that there. Let's put a path here. Let me select 90. Yep, we'll do that. Nope, we want it 6 and long. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, Let me push down this terrain. So this coaster can go underneath of it. And then for now we'll just do something like this. Just so there's more than enough space and then we'll tailor it in. Um, okay. So I'm going to do that. And then let's go back into path. Yep. We'll do this. Whoa. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, no. What are you saying no about? <laughs> um... There we go. So that's that bridge. Can I? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. And then, um, just basically so you guys can see what it, what it is in my head that I'm thinking. Um, so this, let's just use a regular track for now. Just pull that in. We'll have that drop down just a little bit. Bald head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's turn on tunneling. 
because I think that'll make it easier. Let's just make a really tight tunnel. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, bank this. Bank it. And kind of just get it to go whoosh around. Ah! Maybe do something like that. I'm just going to try and... Okay, there we go. And we can unbig that. Pull it straightish. And then we're going to have it go dive drop. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. Chain lift. Have to be on the straight unbanked. Okay, let's go back here. This is straight and it's unbanked. Zero. Okay, so that's where this is going to start. And this is going to go straight up. Well, not straight up, but it's going to be fairly steep. Can we... Okay. So, is that how high we want it? I think, because um, how tall, let me just say done. How tall is this one? Stats, please. Does it tell us how high the highest height is? Heat map. Damn it. How do we know how tall this is? Duration, track length, maximum speed, highest average, biggest drop is 33 meters. I'm assuming that's what that is. Ugh, I don't know. It's okay though. I'm thinking this is probably about as high as we're going to want that to go. Um, and then let me pull this in. Let's get this to straighten out to zero. And then it's going to Trim brakes, block section, friction brakes, drive tires. And that's what that is. Let's use the optional catwalk though. And ooh no. Chain lift. Friction brakes. Trim brakes. Block section. None of these can be rotated. I guess it has to be the this. Um, so we're gonna have it go like that. Let me extend this out a little bit. Yeah. Gonna be like that. So let me hit done and then this needs to move. We have to try and line that up with this bridge. Maybe we can pull forward just a little bit. So we're gonna want it to drop down and up. So let me just yeah, I think that should be fine. And we'll fix all the tunneling in a second. Um, let me go back into editing this. Yeah, we'll have it go. Let me turn off auto tunneling. Okay, let me go into settings and set it to where it won't allow it to clip with the ground. Disable. Okay, turn off that. Okay, that wasn't the right thing. 
settings, coaster collision. There we go. Yeah, just like that. So that's where that drop is. Big fucking drop. And that's where we are going to hold that for now. Um, let me see what that looks like. That looks pretty dope. Um, we're going to hold that here for now because it is 10 o'clock and I actually have to stop streaming because I have to go meet my friends. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're going to start Atheon. That's a weird name. But um, yeah, so next stream, next Friday, we will be streaming. We will be finishing out this coaster, trying to get it to 10 at 9 excitement. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll be able to tune in for that. Um, let me just go ahead and switch to my end of stream. Okay, so thank you guys for all the new followers. We did get quite a few. We were at 87, um, which is awesome. We're still trying to get to that 100. So if you know anybody who enjoys playing the games that I'm playing, um, then definitely send them my way because you guys' support is greatly appreciated and very, very helpful. Um, if um, you didn't get a chance to watch the whole stream or if you want to watch the previous streams of this, um, specific park. I do upload them onto my YouTube channel, which is the same name as Jujubee, as it is on Twitch. You can see next to me on this side all of my social media. So if you guys ever want to follow me on anything, just to kind of see what I'm doing, what I got going on, um, you can follow my Facebook and Twitter to know what I'm doing about what I'm doing when it comes to regards of my channel for YouTube and for Twitch. I always post my, my schedules on there, anything I'm doing with my streaming. YouTube, I post all my old live streams on there, as well as a few series from a few few years ago that I did on Minecraft and stuff like that. Um, you can follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, or my TikTok if you want to just kind of see what I'm doing when I'm not streaming, because um, I do post videos on like TikTok and I do post on my Snapchat pretty regularly. If you follow my Snapchat, you'll see what I'm doing tonight, so I'm going to get lit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out on the stream. Thank you for the fun conversations. You guys are really fun to talk to. Um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I am going to be playing some um, Sims, I think. Um, I might buy myself the new Foundations game and play that. If not, I'll be playing Sims. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned on, or stay posted on my Twitter or whatever. And um, I'll definitely let you guys know that by tomorrow. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow's stream. If I don't see you tomorrow's stream, hopefully I will see you at next Friday's Planet Coaster stream. If I don't see you then, then... Um, I don't know. I hope uh, you have fun doing whatever it is you're doing with your life. I wish you guys all the best. I wish you guys all an amazing night. Bye.